welcome to Kids Academy. Hello, boys and girls. It's Teacher Michael with Kids Academy. And today, I'd like to talk to you about different shapes, their sides, and their angles. But before we get started, let's review what's a side and what's an angle. So let's take a look at this shape right here. Do you know the name of this shape? Well, this is a trapezoid. How many sides are on my trapezoid? Well, a side are just those straight lines. So let's count the straight lines or the sides together. I see one, two, three, four. This trapezoid has four sides. I know that in this trapezoid, there are also four angles. The angles or the two sides meet. They're kind of like the corners. So there's one, two, three, four angles in this shape as well. So to identify the sides and angles, we really just need to look closely for the sides or the straight lines or the angles, the place where the two lines meet. So let's use this information to help us complete our worksheet. Let's read the directions and get started right away. What shape am I? Read each sentence. Check the shape that matches the description. It's almost like a guessing game. Let's read the first sentence and see which shape matches the description. I have three sides and three angles. Okay, can you think of a shape with three sides and three angles? Already, when I hear the number three and I think of a shape, I immediately start to think of a triangle. So let's draw a triangle to see. So let's count the number of sides in my triangle. There are one, two, three sides in my triangle. If we wanted to count the number of angles, we just have to look for the places where all the sides meet. Let's go ahead and look. I see one, two, three angles. So this matches the definition of three sides and three angles. Let's just quickly check the other shapes to make sure they also don't have three sides and three angles. In my rhombus, there are one, two, three, four sides, so that can't be correct. And in my rectangle, there are also one, two, three, four sides, so that can't be correct. So just to review, a shape with three sides and three angles is a triangle. Let's read the next description. I have no angles. Hmm. Can you think of a shape that has no angles? I'll give you a hint. The shape also has no sides. Well, if we look at our three shapes, a circle, a hexagon, and a trapezoid, it's pretty easy to tell. The only shape with no sides is our circle, because our hexagon has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, and our trapezoid, like in our example, has one, two, three, four sides. So the only shape with no angles is our circle. Let's read the next description. I have six sides and six angles. Can you think of a shape that has six sides and six angles? I just mentioned it in our last example. I think I remember saying a hexagon, but let's draw a hexagon just to be sure. So as I draw my hexagon, I want to carefully count the sides. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six sides in my hexagon. Now, let's just count the angles to be sure. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six angles on my hexagon. So this must be a hexagon, because I know a pentagon, our first shape, has one, two, three, four, five sides, and our triangle only has three sides. So a hexagon is a shape with six sides and six angles. So let's go ahead and check the hexagon. Finally, our last description states, I have four equal sides. Do you know what shape they're talking about? Well, this one's kind of tricky because our rectangle has four sides and our trapezoid also has four sides. Our last shape, the square, has four sides, but it's a little bit different than the other two shapes. Do you know why? It's because it has four equal sides. Each side is the same length, and that's what makes a square a square. So a shape with four equal sides is a square. Remember, boys and girls, a side is just like a straight line in a shape, and an angle is where two straight lines meet. 
and they form an angle right there in the corner. Thanks for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.